Breaking news, September 11th, 2022 is going to be your last chance to ride Mr. Freeze down at Six Flags over Texas. Yes, the park just announced at a coaster event that September 11th will be the last day you can ride Mr. Freeze. This news is just in, and I'm going to speculate as to why the park is doing this and how big of a head scratcher is this. After all, they're new for 2020, then 2021, 2022, and now officially 2023 new roller coaster isn't even open yet. And now the park has the audacity to close their most popular, or in my opinion, at least the best coaster in the park. What is going on with Six Flags? And this is just another piece of the crappy month the company has had because of all the financial aspects of it, the parks not being busy, the CEO who does not know really how to handle theme parks, the El Toro incident, and now this. What is next? And who is ready for new Six Flags management? Now, let's speculate here because they worded it as you know, that might not be a permanent closure. Maybe they flip the train around and have you launch like you used to in a first open up in 1998. Or is this really the end of Mr. Freeze? I mean, the roller coaster just got repainted last year and looks absolutely stunning. Now, Six Flags Over Texas is not my home park, so I don't know how like you know, reliable the coaster is. Maybe there's a lot of issues with the ride that we don't know about that's leading to this decision. I don't know. But again, this is crazy. Honest to God, I don't even know. I don't even want to think about what could be next for Six Flags because I have a huge problem when you close a ride down, whether it's for permanent or just like a retheme. When you don't even have your new ride open yet, and it's just been a really kind of a crappy year for the chain in general. So this is not good for the public image of Six Flags Over Texas and Six Flags in general. So I really want to know what you think. Is Six Flags Over Texas actually going to be removing Mr. Freeze? Or is this just to flip the train around to go forward or something else? Please let me know in the comments because I really just think that hopefully, I'm very hopeful that this is not a permanent closure. And if it is, at least the park gave us a few weeks for us to get our last rides in. I just... I'm just baffled on this whole entire decision, and the official quote from the guy at the coaster uh, event is, uh, it says here, last chance to ride September 11th, 20, uh, 2022, and Mr. Freeze, Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast. So again, I just, it's crazy. I honestly, I honestly... I'm just, I'm heartbroken over the way that the company is right now and the decisions the CEO is taking to affect the parks, closing certain areas, you know, getting rid of really passionate people that love their job. And it's just, it's not a good situation all around. So again, let me know what your thoughts are about this. Six Flags Over Texas fans, I'm sorry you're going through this. This is just crazy because I've been to that park and Mr. Freeze is such an underrated roller coaster and there's really nothing really like it because there's only two of them. And if this is true, then I wonder what's up with Six Flags St. Louis. How much longer do we have for that roller coaster? Because that is the best coaster at the park, hands down, and is like the best looking coaster in the skyline of Six Flags St. Louis. So I don't know. My my thoughts and prayers are with the park, and this is hopefully just a retheme. But again, who knows? This is just me speculating. I'm not predicting. So anyone who doesn't really think I predict things right, this is not a prediction. This is just me sharing news and my thoughts on the news. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.